All right, for this training video, we're talking about re-anchor. We're gonna whiteboard a little bit in the beginning just so you can kind of see what we're talking about prior to going up. Um, on this one, we have uh, four different rope sets we're gonna be working with. Uh, the, our, our guy's gonna go up on rope set one initially, ascending up, and he's gonna transfer, transfer over onto rope set two in a descent mode. And then from two to three, he's basically just gonna be doing a, he's gonna be doing a rope to rope transfer, slide over, over into rope set three. And then when he gets over to rope set four, he can either choose to go up um, and do work, or you can come down and come down on the other side. Rope set four is not a requirement uh, when you're out in the field, or uh, it's it's actually what we call escape ropes. So you could actually come up on rope set one, go over two, three, do your work, do whatever you're doing, and then come back over and then down. Um, one of the things you want to be cognizant of going on, going through this through this one for sure is you do not want to drag rope set one, your exit ropes, with you as you go across. Um, it, we like to refer to the middle piece here as some sort of hazard, be it hot lava or be it uh, you know roadway, whatever it is. This is considered a hazard underneath it. That's why you're trying to bypass it. So if you if you if you bring these ropes with a, these could get caught um, in the hazard. And b, the other big reason why we do that is because if you do come into trouble and you don't have this other rope set over there and you drag these with you, well then there's there's no there's no way to rescue you, right? So you're up here. You brought your entry ropes over across. So the rescuer just isn't able to access, come up here and then come over to help you on either. So again, be cognizant of that. Don't bring these with you, that's a discrepancy. Another thing to watch out for when we're up there is the interior angle here. Uh, you wanna get up high enough on rope set two when you pull yourself over so you can slide across and not end up in the bottom of the loop. If you end up in the bottom of the loop, you're gonna have to end up, you can do it, you can ace end up sideways, uh, but it's, it's, not, it's not ideal. You wanna try to get up high enough where you can slide over and pinch them over on your angle, um, so you, you come over in a nice, easy fashion, and you're all the way in rope set three, and then again, you can either go do your work or come back on. Um, I've already come up on rope set one on ascent. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change over on rope set two on the descent. Put my belay on first. To my descender. All right, so I have two points of contact in rope set two. I have two points of contact in rope set one. I can take my points of contact from rope set one off. I can come off my main. Okay. So at this point, right now, I'm fully on rope set two. All right. And now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up doing a rope to rope transfer from rope set two to rope set three. Okay. When I'm doing this, throughout this whole process, one of the big keys to it is already taking a second. It's kind of sitting back and making sure nothing is getting crossed up. Once you're down to rope set one, take it off to your side so you're not, you're not thinking about putting anything else onto that or gets wrapped up around any of your gear either. And being real mindful as you go across and as you put all your stuff on. Last thing to put on is a handle. All right, so now I'm good to now I'm good to go across. Again, just like a rope to rope. My angle I'm at, where the height I'm at right now, I'm pretty good. All I really need is just a little bit of pull, pull myself over, kind of where I want to be. Make sure my backup is good to go. And then I'm high enough right now to get across. I want to make sure I'm high enough to get across too with that loop. I don't want to end up in the bottom of the loop. I wasn't have to ascend up at an angle. So you want to try to be high high enough up. So I'm not in the bottom of the loop and I can swing all the way over. So at this point, I'm not gonna worry about rope set three. I'm gonna go over on rope set two.
Once I'm in rope set three completely, I can then take all my gear off of rope set two. So at this point, I'm on, I'm on rope set three. I can either choose to either A, A send up on rope set four, or D send on rope set four. For sprat purposes, for testing, um, all you have to do is put yourself on a D send on rope set four, and then you can come down.